Hey, what's up chicas? How's everybody doing? Welcome back. Today we're going to be working with this beautiful design in pink. So then let's begin. We're going to be using dark pink from Glam and Glitz. We're also going to be using a little bit of white, so just use whatever you have. And this is my own glitter mix, you guys. It is called Daddy's Girl. It'll soon be up on my website, so stay tuned for that. And I'm using the long stiletto tips on this particular design, you guys. So I'm going to start here by taking a medium bead. And I'm going to be applying it right in the center of the nail. Well, not in the center precisely, but right on that apex area. So I start to blend it down, you guys, and I'm going to start to build up my nail. I'm also using a number 14 brush. This is the one that I always leave, leave in the description box. So don't ever forget to go and check out that description box, you guys. I have discount codes. I have links and, you know... Just maybe products that you might be interested in, and they'll be in the description box. Not all of them, but some. And also, I leave the link to my Etsy shop, just in case you guys are wondering. It'll be there. I don't have that many products left, um, but it'll soon be restocked with more new stuff, you guys. So, like I said, stay, stay tuned for that. I will upload a video soon, you know... Showing you the new products that are going to be available and the things that I'm going to have there. So, yes, chicas. Um, I'm going to be adding this pink acrylic onto my middle finger and the ring finger. And I'm not going to be capping it. So, I am going to be making, you know, the right thickness to the nail with this particular uh, acrylic. Um... So I'm going to be doing the exact same thing on the middle finger and then on the index finger I'm going to be creating kind of sort of like a marble. I did that marble on my thumb but I never show my thumb you guys because you know it's just I pretty much make whatever I did on either... Um, one of the four nails, I did it on the thumb. So I just think it's kind of useless for me to leave it here on the video. Plus, like I've said before, it's kind of like a trial and error for me to see what like the colors I'm going to be using look like or if they actually match or they don't. I've had times, guys, where literally <laughs> I have to remove that that uh, nail from my thumb because I just don't like the colors, how they, how you know, how they mix, how they look, you know, like they just don't look right. So I have to remove that nail, apply another one, and just, you know, grab some other colors. So, yes, chicas, like I said, that's why I'm going to be using a little bit of white here, just kind of applying it here and there. Um, marbles are not perfect, so don't worry about making it perfect, you guys. Um, so just for a little bit of like more, you know, uh, sparkle, a little bit of more kind of like just so, just so that there's more, um, detailing in that marble, I decided to go in with a little bit of pink and then this glitter pink is going to go on the pinky. I hope you guys like this, um, glitter, this pink pink glitter it kind of has like a hint of blue like a hint of purple it's not really purple it's more blue you guys but i love it i am completely in love with this glitter you guys i decided to name it daddy's girl um in memory of of you know my dad as you guys know he did pass away um three months ago and it's been really hard it's been really hard on my sisters and i my mom but you know we're getting through um with a lot of faith um but you know it just you know it just it's just like pink and then i'm like pink you know we were all pretty much daddy's girls so I just went with daddy's girl, you guys. So, um, I really hope you guys like it. I love it. I freaking love it. And like I said at the beginning, it's soon going to be up on my Etsy shop. So, once again, stay tuned for that. <laughs> and, um, this is going to go all over the pinky now. I rarely do something special on the pinky. Um, 
But, you know, you guys can go ahead and do whatever you want. You can, you know, add another color if you want to, you know, just take any idea, anything that you liked from this particular design. You can grab whatever you like from this design, you guys. It's all yours. It's an idea from me to you guys. So take whatever you like and make it yours. And again, you don't have to use whatever I'm using on this design. I just like to show you products that I'm using on the design so that you guys know what I'm using because a lot of us, that includes myself, you guys, But because like truly like if I'm watching a nail video, I'll be like, I wonder what shade she's using or I wonder what, you know, what product she's using. I always wonder that. So that's why I give you guys, you know, brands and, you know, um, just products in general of what I'm using. But you don't have to use what I use, you guys. Just use whatever you have in hand. And um, I'm sure it's going to work out. I'm sure if you want to recreate this design, it'll turn out, you know, exactly the same. Um, so, yeah, chicas, um, as you guys can see here, I'm going to be adding the pink here on the middle finger. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do there. That's why I left it, you know, for last because I wasn't sure what I really wanted to do on that nail. Um, but as you guys can see, I just went ahead and added the pink from Glam and Glitz. And like I told you guys, I am not going to cap. The only nails I'm going to cap are the pinky and the... Um, of course, a thumb and the index finger. So those are the only. Okay, nails so I really to wanted to do kind of like a cheese theme, you know, kind of like for us to kind of gossip and you know, so that you guys can like watch me do whatever I'm doing here, but I'll be kind of like cheese with you guys, kind of like gossiping. <laughs> Not in a bad way, you guys, but you know, just so that we can have something else to talk about. Um, if you guys don't like this, tell me, tell me, and trust me, you guys, I won't do it. Like, I won't. Uh, so tell me if you guys want to talk about any anything, you guys, of you know, about you know, like a friendship, like a bad experience with a friend, um, a bad experience with a client, for example, today. I'm going to talk to you guys about to toxic, to what? toxic clients. Um, yesterday, I was speaking to my Spanish audience about toxic clients. Um, and really, you guys, toxic clients can come in any, any shape, any size, any, any flavor. <laughs> um, they're just so, they're just so random people, you guys. So there's just so many different types of toxic clients, which you have the clients where they literally take away the nail file from your hand just so that they can do it. There's, you know, those other clients where they just make the most random comments, you know, just comments that make you feel bad. They make you feel awkward. Um, just stupid comments in general, you guys, about, you know, about your work, about your nails, or about, you know, things that you do and that they don't like, um, you know, and they're just, like I said, stupid comments that people or those type of clients don't realize that they hurt you, and you are pretty much, yes, you work from home, but you're pretty much taking away time from your family, from your home, from your husband, if you're married, or your boyfriend, um, to do their nails. And, you know, I used to charge literally $15 to $20 back then, you guys. And, which was like, it would take me like three to four hours to do a set on them so it was like for $15 and still she would complain like still she would be like I why so expensive and I'm like really how dare you I'm taking away time from my family from my husband from my kids to do your nails and you're still complaining about about those $15 like really you really want them to be free like it would really 
get to me, you guys. They she complained so much about my nail prices. And don't get me wrong, she was such a nice lady. She, you know, she was so so nice. She never said anything bad to me. She never like came up to me with a bad attitude or anything. It was just that. It was just that. She would not value me as her nail tech. She wouldn't value me, you know, as like I said, I was taking time from my family to actually do her nails and she wouldn't value that you guys she would like she wouldn't care and that to me is a very big disrespect because i mean come on like i right now these three hours i could be over there taking care of my family and i'm over here with you you know and like i said it's just so weird they're just so they're just toxic you guys and um clients that don't value you as a person or as a as their nail tech are to me they're just not worth taking taking them in you know what i mean and um really you guys if you have any clients like that just don't do their nails just you know just block them or be like you know what <laughs> i can't i'm booked whatever but just don't take them in um there's just other type of clients that literally don't show up for their for their nail appointment they come late you know they you literally straight up tell them like i need you here at this time and you know it could be 30 minutes later and they're like i'm here and you know it's just like hey like come on i could be taking care of another client but no you're late um i don't know you guys they're just so toxic and you know really thank god right now i'm not taking right now as of right now i am not taking clients um and i've been actually resting from all of that cuz sometimes they wouldn't even show up um, and then later on, they would want me to do their nails. Not, like, if nothing happened, uh, they're, I'm just like, hey, it's, you know, what is wrong with you? Like, really? But yeah, you guys, um, just, just get away from those toxic people. Don't take toxic clients in. If you have any, just don't book them no more. Don't. I'm sure there are other people out there that will value your time. They will value your work. They will value your art, um, your hands. You know, they will value you as a person, period. So, yes, you guys, this is pretty much it for today. Um, thank you again for being here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this design. Uh, as for me, I truly loved it. I like how it turned out. Um, thank you one more time for being here. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video, please. It would really, really, really help out my channel. I will see you on the next one. Stay safe. God bless. And bye-bye.